Hey guys, welcome back to Uncle Lou's Fishing TV. Today we start out the video by me searching for my needle nose pliers at Yaman Pond. Um, yesterday I came over, did a little bit of fishing, well, hours of fishing in the rain, and I had my needle nose pliers. Um, really good pair. Has the uh, you know the ring ring plier and all that uh, whatever you know the good ones so we are on the search for them today um then we're going to do a little bit of fishing but i'm just going to walk the bank really quickly see if i could find them but just wanted to chat at you oh here they go look at that <laughs> yes found them right away all right awesome good nobody got them excellent all right so we have them here we go wow what a good find ah, thank god i hate using those other ones i have they don't have the uh the ring the ring um piece on them um they won't cut braid this one will cut braid cut any basically anything all right so i'm gonna put you back on the chesty i wanted to say good day to everyone wherever you're at in the world and uh, appreciate you guys for watching my videos and let's see if we can catch a monster so listen guys years ago here I caught about a, almost a four foot um, northern pike um, it's on my fish brain um, I think my fish brain is the same thing Uncle Lou's fishing TV now it is but yeah I'm on the search for that monster I come here a lot I know that um, I like to film my videos here because this pond is just, it replenishes. There, there's just, there's an inlet, a pipe over that way that it comes in from the river and so many different species of fish come in here. I've caught in crappy, walleye, bluegill, bass, um, pike, pickerel, um, a baby, I've, I've even caught in a baby muskie out of here. Um, catfish of course um, so many like I said the variety is endless so that's why I film a lot of my videos here um, plus I don't really have a lot of money to travel and there's up here in upstate New York there's not a lot of bank options um, as I'm getting into this deeper I'm doing my research and finding different areas where I will be able to fish uh, falls here so we got you know the fall fishing is going to be very very good here biggins we're going to catch some biggins um and we got ice fishing coming up but enjoy today's video i appreciate every single one of you that watch my videos um you guys don't know it means the world to me every time i i see a comment or a, a view i i get excited i'm on the road to 200 subscribers and my videos are reaching a lot of people but again a lot of them aren't subscribed so if you are watching this and you made it this far through the video go ahead and subscribe it's free um you never know one day i might put out something you like um or a species of i might catch a species of fish that you target or that you want to see how to catch all right and i do a lot of explaining in my videos um and i have to get better at editing that in but that comes within time um but again thank you all for watching and Let's uh, let's go catch some fish, guys. It's something I, I adore, I love to do, and uh, but I'm on the road to target a big one out of here. They they are here, um, they are finicky, but we will catch them. It's a very very pressured pond, but we can do it. And I got Pat coming over too. Um, he was getting ready. He's my fishing buddy. I met him here um, at Dunkin' Donuts, I think. Yeah, where the Dunkin' Donuts drive through. He worked at Dunkin' at the time. And um, we fish every time we come here together. So um, he'll be uh, he'll be along shortly. And you guys uh, will get. I think you guys all met him already, but you'll, you'll meet him again. All right, I got two bat two extra batteries. I hate coming back to the truck. So. Uh, da, da, da. 
We've been killing it here though on drop shot lately. Oh, I have, but yeah. Um, let me see here. We're gonna change this setup real quick here. Um, I wanna move this to a, a swim bait actually. I mean, not a, yeah, so a soft swim bait, not, not a hard swim bait like this one is. Um, although the gizzard shad works very well here, um, and I do have one, I do have a gizzard shad with me today. So we may look for that, but. All right, let's see here. Let's see what we can do with this. Give my this was one of my best jerk baits right here. Like this jerk bait, I gotta find this again. This right here was amazing, and the bill broke off. The hooks are still good, that's why I keep it because I'll end up using the hooks one day in the rings. Or I don't know, I, I, I like hardcore minnow, um, flat. This is real. It's a really nice one. I caught, I caught a lot of fish on it, as you can see. But all right, enough talking. Let's change this bait out. See what we're gonna throw on there. Let's get the rest of these out. We're gonna keep these. We're gonna keep these all the same because we did uh, we did get one on the um, what you call it the other day. Um, they seem to be going after bluegill a lot. I see a lot of dead bluegill. Unless people are just gut hooking them and just leaving them on the bank. Whatever it is what it is. Uh, so we're gonna go with the sexy shad pattern. On the, on the clutch. Change that one up too. All right. put the perch back on so I seem to have pretty good that's what we'll do we'll we'll put the, we'll throw the perch back on of the I like this wake bait too there's a wake bait here that's really good this one's really these are if you get a chance you can get some of these these work well too um but yep yeah, here we go let's cut this up and Scissors. I just cleaned out my box the other day, so you guys know my knot, Palomar knot. All right, we'll get this one back in here. Spinner bait will look good for today too. Maybe we might throw on a spinner bait as well. What's up? What's up? Howdy, buddy. What's going on? Oh, that's a little. Day you know it. I did not expect you to go out yesterday. Oh yeah. Did you see? Oh, you saw that. Yeah, I was lucky when I got mine. I didn't think I had insurance, but I did. That's great, dude. I took the money and everything with me. Yeah, really they charge me. I'm like, oh, dude. Okay, I'm not going You go to go Empire? Out. Yeah. And that's where I went too. I like them there. Yeah. They the the thing about Empire for me is what the heck happened here? I don't know what I'm saying. There we go. Um I had a problem with uh, their customer service there. And then luckily the girl came out that I know and took care of everything. But I was really upset, man, when I went there. They uh, didn't take good care of me, I'll tell you that. All right, got a shaky head on. See how that goes. I'm gonna get some good stuff on today, guys. A little uh, multitude of different things. Look. We are gonna bang them today. 
But dude, I'm telling them, I'm like, listen, I caught a four foot pike a couple years ago here and it's on my fish brain. And I'm, my goal is to catch one of those suckers again. Do you have fish brain? The biggest, yeah. The biggest one I caught was 32. 32? And that was out of um, Turkey. Yeah. Right down the corner right. by the parking lot. Right there on Danny the Duck. Weston. Dan, a Weston Danny the Duck. A yeah. little duck. He freaking slammed it, dude. Ate it. The, I got pictures of the duck that he tore up. Um, his teeth marks. And I got... So, actually, it was like a rod just like this. Same exact rod, I believe. This, uh, got him on this. This, not, not this one. This is a newer one. New one. But, That's so. small one. Yeah. This is the Whopper Plopper 60. So, the, so he came to right there. If you look at the video, he came to about right there on the pole. Yeah. And. Listen, I don't know how I got him in, honestly. I, I don't know how I got him in. And that was at the time I wasn't really recording. I was only posting on Fishbrain. Oh. And uh, so I didn't have any of my cameras with me or nothing. I was just I was just filming, like, vlogs with the kids and shit. Yep. That's the girls. They love leaving those out. So you got, like, four of them over yeah. there. Yep. <laughs> that shaky head over there, that's, that's uh, I got to, my, one of these days I got to catch one on that. Don't tell me I did this again. Are you shitting me? How am I doing this? Keep catching yourself. Yeah, I, and, and I don't and I don't know how I'm doing it. Like serious, I don't I don't know how I'm doing it, man. I, I don't know how the hell I'm doing this. Hmm. Uh, hopefully that doesn't break off right there. Feels like it's going to though. Uh, I don't know. Should be all right. Let me see here. Should be alright. We'll see. That was that's my last owner. Alright, ready to go catch him? Do you know how to use a bait caster yet? No, no not yet. Alright. Oh. We got we gotta teach you. We got to teach you. I get the raft now. We're gonna have to uh yeah, we're gonna have to. It's not about that. It's about you. Just leave your thumb on it. I mean, and um, and uh, the ones that I have, the bait casters I have too, are uh, are like really good. Like, huh? I have some beginner poles. That one right there. You're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go through a day where we film a video of just learning how to use a bait caster. Oh shit. But yeah man, we got it might just be me. I might have to oil it up and stuff like that, you know. I don't know. Um I got one for you, I gotta find it. I gotta dig it out. It's a good one too. I'll bring <laughs> You see that trout I caught on that daggone? Yeah, man. I caught them on the. I catch them a lot there on the jerk baits, but the little were Rapala, rapalas. I don't. I don't really catch them on anything else but the rapalas. All right, right here. Start up. I'm gonna start up right here. Now it won't watch. We fish over here today, and they'll be over there. Always, always ends up happening all the time. I don't know. I don't know. The current's moving this way, so that's a good thing we got. We got moving water, so it's gravy. I'm gonna start out with uh, this guy right here.
Love this favorites rod. Favorite rod, my favorite pond. I was telling them too, I'm telling the people, I'm like listen, this pond is so incredible. Because of the inlet from the river, there's so many different species here. Like, it just blows my mind. I call walleye here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of walleye in this pond. They like the blue and silver. They like the blue and silver. Wow, this is really clean today. This is about a five foot visibility, dude. It's crazy. I'm glad I got on the bone color um, top water. Yeah, she told me um, at the drive-through window that you were you wanted to go to Yemen. Asked me if I was gonna say yeah, you know it. I said my batteries are charging, but yeah. Oh, she did tell you? Yeah. Right when I was coming out the drive-through. I thought she ignored me. That's why I ran over. No. I said I, I said I seen a message me. I said but my wife had my phone. She was doing something on it. I forget what it was. Looking at, oh yeah, looking at an email. All right, guys, what we're doing is hitting it up with a search bait. Um, this crank, we'll search for them and we'll find them. We'll find them. Don't forget to keep fan casting. Fan casting is your best friend as a bank fisherman. It helps you cover every nook and cranny. Rain? Yes, sir. Every day, man. I don't skip a day. I, I post a video every day, dude. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, yeah, man. I'm trying to show everybody something I love. Want to see something? I think this is awesome. What you got? Your worms are still alive. And that little boy was with us? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Upside down. Really? Are you kidding me? That's what I said. That was at least, what, four or five days ago? Yeah. Yo, those are some serious worms, bro. I've been in my trunk. What? The whole time. I forgot about him, so I went to go look for the boy's jacket this morning. <laughs> oh, what happened, happened here? Oh, you came out the other day. Wow, dude. That's crazy, man. What the hell? How did I do this? How in the hell did I do that? Alright, well... Cut that again. Hopefully that didn't ruin the integrity of the line, but we'll see. What you got? Oh, your fishing vest. That's a nice fly fishing vest, bro. Well, and, and actually anything, but. Came off a wish, I think, for 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Damn. Uh. You have stuff, if you're like me, you'll have stuff that you don't even remember you put in there. Everybody, everybody say good morning to Pat. Good morning, guys. Five bucks. All yeah. these. Yeah, that's great. I love split shots. They're good for so many different things. Well, the girlfriend uses them all the time, so I'm like, yo, go ahead and waste and look for them. Yep. Dude, I can't believe those worms. We might have to do some worm fishing. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> See, the only thing I don't like about worm fishing 
is most of the time we end up gut hooking the fish yep. you know and and there you go it's done deal for the fish yeah i like to uh what i like to do is uh chicken skin i fish a lot with chicken skin for catfish i was just talking to the old lady about that this morning actually and i don't um i haven't posted a catfish video yet I though we found a chicken leg the other day. yeah i use chicken skins though i don't use those chicken feet or chicken a lot of people use chicken feet um up here harder, right? huh they're, harder? they're cheaper <laughs> they're cheaper too and I don't know, then they might be. I don't know. I never fished them. It might be worth a shot. I see them a lot in this area. Yeah, I see them all the time. I see chicken feet everywhere up here. <laughs> all we did in New Jersey is fish with corn and uh, corn, dough, balls, and. Who's that? Bass hook nice that's what's up have you ever tried to attract it yeah uh, sometimes it depends really there's a contro big controversy on that i got a couple of bottles of it yeah i use the the stuff that um i get from uh used to get from carl's okay carl's bait and tackle and it's a it's a gel and it, you coat your bait with it and it's like a, it's like a, uh, almost like a release of oils. Pretty cool. Kind of like that? Yeah, but it, it's a, the other one is like a craw taste or, I got it in the, in the I truck. I don't know, but that looks fabulous though. That stuff looks great, dude. You ever gave me a spray bottle, so I put it in there. That stuff looks really good. All right, guys, we got the perch tied up. You guys know what happens when the perch is tied up. Pike City. Bam. Pike City. And that's what that's what I'm trying to target. Big bass or big pike. Um, all right, we got to change this one up, too. This one's got to be changed to the sexy shad. Or should we go with, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it was recommended for spinner baits, but go with this one right here. Got. <laughs> oh, that's your camera, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I got a head mount you could use. Yeah, that's oh, these are nice. Just gotta figure it all out. Oh, all right. Yeah, but yeah. Try the head mount. That's nice, dude. Well, how many megapixels is this? And it's water oh, you got the waterproof case, too. Did you charge it up? Uh, no, I didn't. That's, I don't think it might still be charged. Power button's up top on Probably this one. Probably not. It's been a little while. Nope. You gotta charge up the batteries. Yeah, uh, but I have a chesty, too, for you. Chest mount.
Try that on this one. See how that does. I do have different uh, swim baits that I can, different colors I can try, but I like the the um, bio spawn um, exo swim. Really nice one. That there, that there. I'm call Empire Vision. Why? What's up? I'm <laughs> it's all good. Literally, this is what I did and broke them. Took them off my head, both times, both sides. Yeah, that shit happens, man. Broke one one week, and then the next week the other one broke. Damn. Like, <laughs> you can't. Can't win. can't win that's why i keep mine off because i dropped them in casterline pond and then i found them again and i broke the tip of my rod on that one right there and i had to put a new tip on because that's how i found my glasses <laughs> yeah dude it took me three hours to find my glasses wow probably have to half hour i want to get a lot more. three hours i couldn't they were they're seven hundred dollars oh yeah no i don't have insurance All right, right now, guys, I uh, just want to tell you what I'm throwing. I am throwing the um, Biospawn Exoswim with uh, the VMC Underspin. I think it's like a three or four out hook. Not, I should have looked at the hook size when I bought it, but. a little bit better had to adjust it a little bit now I like these underspins because you can control your depth with um, number one your line number two you're adjusting your rod tip and you can control where you want your bait to swim in that water column um, really good technique um, and I've caught some really good fish on these underspins like we're gonna catch today. I don't like to use steel leaders even though this is a pike infested pond. Um, I just feel fluorocarbon is the best. Use a heavier fluorocarbon uh, braid for top water. Huh? Yeah, well, right. Yeah, I don't. I'll never use them. I feel like if you're competition fishing and you're chasing big muskie or things like that, maybe yes. But I, I would just myself. I would just go to a heavier, heavier line. And Pat is right. I feel like I'm cheating <laughs> if I use it. All right, Pat, we got to stop playing around here. I'm throwing everything I got, though. Let's get on one. Let's see if they want it fast. Fast or slow, fast or slow, let me know. Pushing some water, looks good. Let's throw it parallel to the bank, see what happens. Maybe some will come creeping out the rocks. If not, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bounce this thing on the bottom. 
let it sink. Uh, let it sink a little bit. Make sure it hits the bottom. Keep your finger right here on the line so you can see. Oh, got him. Got him. He hit it on the fall. Woo! Hook just fell right out. <laughs> Yo. Hook just fell right out. Like when I got what as soon as I pulled him on the shore, he fell right out. Alright, got this guy on lead. Um, where was it? Right here. Got him on the exo swim. Right here. Nice. Nice. Let's, let's see how long this guy is. Where is that? Let's see. From time to long, he was 14. He would be a keeper. And uh, he's a probably 14 and a quarter. Maybe 14 and a half with his snout. Huh? 14 and a half. He would be keep. He would be a keeper. Definitely. Shot for me. All right, about time. Woo. Underspin, swim bait. buddy okay okay see ya all right number one Ooh. nearly close in the way we are on the search for the biggins Just as I'm explaining to you guys, as it's falling, keep your finger on the line. He wails it. Oh, he messed up my bio swim, though. Yes, he did. He messed that up pretty darn good. Good color, though, for today. Um, let's see if we can see if it, we can make it work. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Hard to tell, he split that sucker. Plus I have had it on there for a while, too. <sighs> that was that deep pocket. It's probably the deepest part of the pond. I don't know, I'd not I'm very doubtful. Something bit the tail. Something bit the tail. He was he was really warm fish too.
All right, we're gonna try the same technique. I'll let it cast it over here, let it fall. Soft, he bit, he bit the soft swim bait. Even in the shallows, this bait works pretty good too. Yeah, so this water's still pretty warm. Um, that fish was was um, warm to the touch. And he came, he, and he was pretty deep too. At least he wasn't like the one yesterday. The other one yesterday, he had claw marks all over him from birds. Hey guys, I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. Well, that's going to conclude the video for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that catch. I hope you guys learned something from how to use... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm, I'm so dry right now. Um, how to use a uh, underspin um, <laughs> thanks for watching guys I really appreciate it it's been a hard couple hours out here one fish I've uh, been out here for three hours um, I could have used uh, a couple of different techniques but I was really dwelling on this one bass that I lost again today so it's quite hard but uh you figure it out and uh, you go from there. But um, I just want to thank you all again for watching. Please remember to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please remember to like, uh, give a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, I mean, 14 and a half inch bass, not bad. But I mean, we could have done better today, I think. We could have used a couple of different. I mean, we did, but oh man, it was rough today, guys. But uh, that fall bite, October, is going to be a 